Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to get into a great discussion. We're going to have a little bit of some fun. This is fun talking about these topics. And I know that you will have a lot of opinions. There is a new movie that I recently watched on Netflix that is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it has a lot of people on TikTok talking about it. But there was something said by the director, Lee Daniels, that has a lot of black people having, well, mixed reactions to this. So this film is called The Deliverance. The Deliverance. And it is actually based off of a true story. It's sort of like The Exorcist a little bit, except we've never seen a movie like this before with a majority black cast. And it's absolutely amazing. It was amazing. It was a good film. Very, the, believe the hype. It is very good. Everyone did an amazing job. And I have to tell you, my mouth dropped when I saw Glenn Close, like so many people, okay, have been talking about on social media. So the cast is Andre Day, Andre Day, who is absolutely amazing. Glenn Close, legendary Glenn Close. A lot of people talk about her, you know, in Fatal Attraction. I loved her in the film Dangerous Liaisons. Dangerous Liaisons is a classic. Okay, we also have Ellis Taylor and the legendary Monique. All of these women are legendary up here. Okay, I already said Andre Day is going to be a superstar. And this film is definitely worth getting awards for. Again, the cast definitely surprised me. Omar Epps is also in the film and I was shocked when I saw him as well, as well as an actress off the show, Ruthless. Uh, it's just, it's just amazing, it's amazing. But there was something said again by Lee Daniels about Glenn Close character. We're gonna get into that, okay? Just, just stay with me a little bit. Again, a lot of people are saying that Glenn Close should get an Oscar for her performance. And I agree, I agree. But Andrea Day also did amazing. Everyone did amazing. And Andrea Day has the leading role besides also Glenn Close. And I just wanna give her her flowers too because she carried this film and she did amazing. All right now, so we're not used to seeing Glenn Close like this. Look, I know she had the curly hair and fatal attraction, but look at that hairstyle, okay? The hairstyle, her name chain, okay? Look at the wigs going on, it says right here. I knew this was not a Tyler Perry film when I saw these wigs because Tyler Perry tends to get dragged for the hair, the wigs that he uses in his productions. Her wigs were absolutely off the chain and we have never seen Glenn Close like this in our life playing you know, a white woman in the hood who dates black men, has black children. She has the signature hairstyle that a lot of them tend to have. Okay, so let's look real quick before we get into what Lee Daniel said about white women, her character. Look at these wigs. Glenn Close played the mess out of this role. Okay, now Andrea Day, it was mostly, you see a lot of her character and Glenn Close, but her acting was phenomenal. Her mannerisms were phenomenal. Okay, I love it. You see her looking fly, the way she's moving her hand with those wigs, some of the things she said. And yes, there was something she said in that film that just has everyone's jaw dropping. It's very controversial. But look, we never thought in our life we would see Glenn Close like this. Okay, she is an actress with range and she showed that in this film, okay? And I won't be shocked if she gets an award and I think Andrea Day should also get an award as well. Lee Daniels cast at Monique and we know that they had a little bit of a, a little bit of a beef in the past, but it says that he revealed how in his spiritual journey, he's finding forgiveness with Monique, which also influenced the deliverance. And Monique has a somewhat small appearance, not too much. You see her throughout the film and she did a really good job. So now let's get into what did he say that has black people kind of, hmm, some are agreeing and others sort of feel offended that he said this. Okay, Lee Daniels has gotten slammed because he said the white character that Glenn Close portrayed in his film, The Deliverance, is her, what she displayed 
was a fabric of the black community. And I didn't get upset when I heard this because I understand what he's saying. There are a number of white women, especially who are older, that you do see like this. I have ran into a lot of young and older white women who seem more stere stereotypical black than me. Okay. More hood than me because I'm not, I'm not, I, I've been in the hood, but I'm not the stereotypical hood rat. And I have met young white girls at the, at the, at, as a cashier, you know, in the hood with the accent, the nails, the mannerisms, they are very culturally hood black because black is not a monolith. We're, we don't all act like a stereotype. We don't all act like what you see in the hood, but there are white men and women who grow up in the hood around black people. That's their friends, uh, their aunties from another mother and all that type of stuff. And that's who they are. That's how they grew up. And they get a lot of flack from even white people who think, oh, you're co cosplaying a black person or you don't know who you are. No, they grew up in the hood and they culturally are around black people. And that's what they're around usually. And they take on the culture that does happen. And there are white women like her character who um, they don't all go out of their way to try to pretend to be a black woman. That's just some of all of what they know, who they grew up around, uh, the men they date. And um, look, I'm not saying we don't have some of them who are ignorant out here or who feel too comfortable at times. I talked about that in the past when people feel too comfortable because they grew up around black people, you know, or look, I didn't grow, <laughs> I grew up in the hood too, but I also have lived in suburbia as well a mixture a mixture but he said that she is her character is the fat uh, one of the fabrics of the black community so of course you got black people saying uh-uh we ain't trying to hear this what you mean what do you uh-uh no i don't think so okay so let's get more into it the the reactions okay i'm gonna show you some of these comments and i'm gonna show you two white women what i'm talking about okay so again he said every black person knows in alberta She's a part of the fabric of our community, but we've never seen her on screen before. Thank you, Glenn Close, for bringing her to life. The Deliverance is out on Netflix, okay? So I have to say, though, Gwen look good, though. Now, not when is she going too overboard, but on the right, look at Gwen. <laughs> she looks good. But um, she played her role. You know, she's a very, very legendary actress. Okay, so... Now let me show you two white women. Let me show you two white women, okay? So what did I look like to you? Because let me tell you what I am. When you look at me, you see success. You see a motherfucking boss. That's what you see. You don't see no motherfucking struggle over here. Happy New Year, y'all. Sean, go the fuck on. He wants me. It's a lot of these motherfuckers. Do. She don't let that surprise you just because yours want me. The rest of them want me too. Why would they not? What is their not here to want? They just don't know I'm toxic as a motherfucker. They believe me alone. I have them crying to their mamas. Okay, so this is Miss Henry. And I know when you hear her voice, if you were to close your eyes, you would swear that this has to be a black woman. Okay, somebody's, uh, some black woman in their family, their sister, their aunt, their mama, their grandma. And this woman, I can assume she grew up in a black neighborhood, probably a good portion of her life. Okay, now I have seen some that cosplay and, and, and all that other stuff, but this is how this woman actually speaks and how she, how she talks and everything. And um, her husband is a black man. I believe that's, yeah, her husband. Okay, now let me show you Miss Gigi. And Miss Gigi has the hairstyle down pat, just like Glenn Close character. And she seems to be a very nice woman. And she cooks, she cooks her behind off every single Sunday for her family. The food looks delicious. And um, she seems like a nice lady. But check out Miss Gigi. Look at this food, y'all. Let's just take a look and look at this food, too. Welcome to Gigi's Kitchen, Sunday night edition. I didn't do too much tonight. I know it looks like a lot, but this was a really quick meal for us. 
Um, we have a couple of our family members that are out of town on a cruise. Um, so we didn't do too much tonight. Um, but still, to get your to-go plates and your Tupperware ready because I'm sure we have plenty. I'm going to show you what we have. We have crab, snow crab legs. A pan and a half of those. We have potatoes. Roasted potatoes and nice sauce. We have ribs tonight. Okay. We have Cheddar Bay biscuits. We have dirty rice. Her favorite rice. <laughs> we have smoked sausages. We have fried shrimp. We did fried, uh, mostly fried because that's how everybody likes them. Okay. We have the boiled eggs. And this sauce that I made is a buttery garlic sauce with all kinds of seasonings that you would typically put in a crab boil. I have corn on the cob. I set a couple pieces up top so it didn't get too spicy for the babies. And then I did do a little bit of just... Um... Now look, this woman is throwing down. I don't know who taught this woman how to cook like this, you know, with all this flavor, okay? Can I assume she was hanging around some black women? Okay, or maybe her, her family members, they taught her. I'm not saying there are no white women who don't know how to cook. Some of them can. But I'm just saying, look at this food. Ah, girl. B baked shrimp. I just baked it in this really nice buttery sauce that I do sometimes. And then for dessert, come here, Brightland. For dessert, we have banana pudding. Nice and creamy and has cookies all in it. And then Brightlin and I, my grandson and I. Brightlin. Say hi. hi. Tell them what you made. I made bacon. Maple bacon croissants. Maple bacon croissants. Mm, they look good. Yes. <laughs> so that's all. Thank you for coming. We appreciate all the love and support. All right. So that's Miss Gigi. And, um, I might put her TikTok as the first comment. I might do that if you want to check out her page. But yeah, you know, she gets together with her family and, um, you know, who half black and every Sunday has Sunday dinner. And it's just a lot of amazing looking food. And she seems like a nice lady. I wouldn't mind coming over there to try some of the food she's cooking. But um, yeah, look at that hairstyle that she got. The little swoop to the side, the, the, the swoop to the side that a number are known to have. <laughs> People say when you see that hairstyle, that haircut, you know, you already know she got a black man, you know, <laughs> when you see that hairstyle. So um, yeah, let's get into the comments now. What he said about white women like Miss Gigi or the character that Glenn Close played being a part of the fabric of the black American community. Let's see what the public has to say. Okay, it says the fabric of whose community? Who is our? You could have just thanked her, my God. The movie was okay and all, but you might want to pump them brakes a bit. The part about the fabric of our community. I like Glenn Close, but fabric of what? Fabric of our community? That is a wild thing to say. You see, when he said this, I get what he's saying, but I also can see what they're saying too. But there are a lot of black families who do have white women who are a part of the family. You know, they are a part of the family. Their grandmas, aunties, helping raise people's children too. Oh yes, that does happen. That happens. You do have some white women who are truly the friends of black women. Okay, I know we we talk about things we see with some of them who are problematic, but not everyone's a monolith, remember? And there are white women who are friends with black women, true friends and who grew up around black people in the area and are friends to black women. You know, they don't dislike you. They, they love you, a number of them, and they're your friend. But you do have some, again, who have been, well, there's a white woman on TikTok who says how some black men 
who try to use them to cause problems between black and white women and say, say things to them about black women. That's not true, but they treat them the same as black women too. So you got a lot going on, but I, I, I get what he was saying too. I don't know how I feel, honestly, but some of them are not feeling that comment that he said. Okay, another comment. This uh added a white woman to a true story that did not involve a white woman, then said it's because of white women like her that are a part of the fabric of the black community. He is worse than Tyler Perry. I'm sorry. He's like Ty, if Ty, he's he is like if Tyler Perry and Kenya Barris had a baby. I never thought in all my days I would see the Glenn Close doing a sew-in with French a French manicure, t <laughs> chewing gum like a cow with a Cajun accent, doing the girl straighten your head up move. Yeah, that was shocking when I saw her doing the sew-in. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, but I, I was a <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay I really like Lee Daniels movie however Lee Daniels made a post saying every black person knows an Alberta she's a part of the fabric of the community the real Alberta is black dark skin and black they were not mixed Latoya uh Ammons Ammons and Rosa Campbell okay so that's the the that's the true characters right here uh, the, who the characters are based off of. Okay. The woman on the right, Andrea Day char character, and there's her mother. Okay. They're saying that she was not a white woman, but you casted a white woman for the role. Well, you know, I guess they wanted to do something different, but there you, there you see all both of them. Okay. So Black people are obsessed with white women who act like stereotypical black women, but dislike actual black women who act and sound like this. That is true too. You get stereotyped. You know damn well what that man meant. A white woman that is attracted to black people and the culture and ad adopts it into her lifestyle from her friends, her style, her parents to her wardrobe. I saw nothing wrong with her character. You complain about everything. This character is my sister-in-law. She embraced my, my mother in high school in 1991 and was disowned by her parents because she loved a black man. We all love Jennifer. Maybe he missed in terms of how he said it, but every black person knows an Alberta. Folks get mad about anything. You know an Alberta is a real thing in our community. I don't care if it was a black mother, Asian mother, or Hispanic mother in that movie. The movie was excellent. That Glenn Close character was in every black community in my hometown outside of DC. In fact, my best friend's mom, she reminded me of Tina Marie. She was everybody's mom, soulful white woman, and men were woven throughout, and we don't have a problem with it. Because it was the norm back then. So yeah, Lee Daniels was on point with this. Maybe everyone didn't experience this, but I did. Everyone knows an Alberta, so let's get that out the way. Lee Daniels probably did it to raise the profile for the crossover audience and to increase the film budgeting. Hate it or love it, she is. There is at least one just like this. He didn't say the backbone, but they are definitely interwoven in the community. It's not like she was a good mother, her character. I think people know what he means, how there are people of other cultures who grow up around the culture and is very authentic to them. Here y'all go, y'all know what he meant. We all know an Alberta. Her character is not portraying a black woman. She's portraying a white woman with a black biracial daughter. I like it, it was, di it was a different role for Glenn Close to play. Lee was wrong for saying what he said, but don't be mad at Glenn. All she did was book a job and cash a check. I don't even do horror movies. Okay, yes, I only watched it because of Glenn Close. She's an incredible actress. I loved her when she boiled the, the rabbit in Fatal Attraction. Lee made sure he told us this loosely based on the story. Y'all are silly. Every single interview every single press he made and they made sure you understood that it was inspired by that story not a biopic it doesn't have to be accurate
Lynn Close has made it to the age of 77 and she has been nominated for an Oscar eight times, ain't won a single one. And honestly, I don't even think she cared no more. I think she's just trying to have fun. Because Lee Daniels got this new horror movie called The Deliverance coming to Netflix. It stars Andrew Day from his last movie, Monique after he apologized on stage, and Glenn Close playing Andrew Day's mother. Now she's playing somebody inspired by a real person in this movie. You told me this was the Kiki Wyatt story and she was playing Kiki Wyatt's mama Lorna, I would believe you. I don't know, it just kind of feels fitting. Cause you can't tell me Lee Daniels didn't take pictures of Kiki Wyatt and her mama and put them up for Andrew Day, Glenn Close. That's the energy we going for with this movie. But actually she playing this woman. This is Latoya Ammons' mother. This is Latoya Ammons in real life. She said that her house in Gary, Indiana was like a portal to hell. They got like real life exorcisms on record. And a DCS worker actually claims that they saw her son walking up a wall. Clearly Lee Daniels has taken some creative license with this film because her name in the movie is Ebony, not Latoya. And Glenn Close? It's not black. But you know what? I'm okay with basically every archetype of human being being played by Glenn Close. Because she's reflecting real people that be really out there existing. How she go from this to playing Kiki Wise Mama? That's not including like basically her entire filmography from 1981 to now. Just wait until Meryl Streep get the opportunity to play a white mama to a biracial woman with some black kids. Meryl got her fourth Oscar for playing Miss Henry. See, Meryl would probably do it in a serious drama from A24. Lynn Close ain't gonna win no Oscar for no horror movie. Okay, so that is basically it. What do you think? I thought that it was a good film. And uh, with films, sometimes, well, a lot of times they do switch things up sometimes. They add a little bit extra. They might change a little bit of things. And... Him making the grandma uh, a white woman, I think he did it as a twist. And the fact that nobody in their life ever thought we would see Glenn Close uh, play this type of role. And she did phenomenal. And it was scary. Black people, we don't often see a, a lot of movies like this, you know, like The Exorcist, except with a lot of a black family. And he also showed the white women who do live in the hood and not even always the hood, but who grow up in black culture and showed that as well. Um, everyone was represented and the movie was really good. It has a lot of people talking again, shocked seeing Glenn Close, Andrea Day, Monique, seeing Monique again, the topic of religion and spirituality and possession, families, the healing with the mothers, things that happen in, in the home. It's just a lot. It was a lot in one film. And I thought that he did great. And I could see this winning an award. I think that it should. And um, Glenn Close looked... <laughs> oh my God. It definitely added the shock factor that it was very unexpected. And again, when I saw Omar Epps, I could not believe it. Okay. And a few things you see is just what... So um, it was good. It was a good film overall. But what do you think? Do you agree with him that white women, like her character, are the fabric of the black community? Not the backbone, but a part of the black community. Okay. Do you know an Alberta? Do you know one in your, in your area? Did you grow up seeing it? Her throwing down, able to do some braids. And I have seen white women doing box braids and hair braids. I can't even cornrow. So it's just, it's something when you see this, but overall it's just a movie and it was, it was a good movie. I have to say, but, um, let us know what you think in that, in the comment section. I cannot wait to hear your opinion about that. Okay. So you all take care. Enjoy your day. If you decide to subscribe, baby, hit that bell and click all notifications. So, you know, when I'm live and when I upload, thank you so much again for joining me. You all take care. Bye everybody.